Yes, yes, yes. What's going on, guys? This has been AKA Day Training Addict, and I have another good video for you guys. Today, we are going to talk about supply and demand scalping, how to make $800 in a day trading the NASDAQ 100. And trust me, you are going to love this video. So you ready? Let's go. Now, um, I'm going to explain how I trade supply and demand, okay? And after that, I'm going to show you guys a live video, okay, of me trading NASDAQ 100, scalping using supply and demand, okay? So that live video, I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm going to show you all my secrets. I'm going to show you how I got in, okay, how I entered the trade. I'm going to show you uh, why I entered the trade. I'm going to show you guys everything, all right? Now, before we get into that, let's go over here and let me explain to you guys real quick, all right, how I look at supply and demand. Now, when I first got into supply and demand, you know, me personally, I saw a lot of people, um, let me give you a good example, a lot of people would just go to a supply and demand zone that is so far away, okay? So let's say, for example, this is a supply and demand zone right here, okay? Now, this is a supply and demand zone right here, and let's say that the market is right here, okay? Now, we have to wait for price to come all the way to that supply and demand zone, guys, right? And then hopefully price will react to that supply and demand zone. Now, you know, just me testing things out and being a trading addict and, you know, being obsessed with, you know, this trading the markets, what I decided to do is, okay, I said, all right, I like the whole concept of supply and demand, but can I use it on a smaller time frame? And I realized you can actually use it, okay, on the smaller time frames. So this is how I look at supply and demand. So we all know the market basically goes like this, right? It goes up like this, goes down like this, up like this, down like this. Now, if I'm day trading, guys, I don't have time to be looking at zones that's far away. I don't have time to wait and wait for price to basically get to a zone. So I realized that we have short-term supply and demand, okay? So when the market goes up and it pulls back, okay, you will notice that a lot of times it would create short-term supply and demand. The market will come back to this demand area right here or come back to a supply area if we're going down, all right? And you would notice a lot of times price will hit the demand zone and go back up. So that's what I do every single day, guys, when I'm trading supply and demand. And if you don't know what supply and demand is, all this is aggressive buying on the chart or aggressive selling on the chart. And you wait for price to go back to the supply or demand area so you can look for a trade. And I'm gonna show you guys a live clip right now. So let's go. Now, before we get started, guys, please watch out for the scammers out here. You have a lot of people that's trying to act like me, have fake YouTube accounts and fake Telegram accounts and fake Instagram accounts. And I will never contact you first or give you a phone number so you can contact me. And I will never tell you to send me money so I can invest your money, okay? Please make sure you click on the YouTube page first to make sure it's me. All my real information is actually on my channel, on my videos, so make sure you follow that information. Okay, guys, so before I show you the live video, I'm going to show you pretty much the market before I took the trade. And this is what I was looking at right here, guys. And I'm going to explain everything, okay, step by step so you guys can understand. So overall, when I was looking at the market um, at first, okay, uh, we had uh, a little bit of resistance right here, okay? So I actually took a short um, because it, it looks like price was stalling a little bit. And I took a short, okay? And, you know, the, the trade was actually working out. Um, but it came back to my break-even stop, and I got out for break-even, okay? Maybe I lost, a, maybe I think $4 on that trade. But overall, it was a break-even trade, right? Now, when it actually made a new high, okay, then I realized, okay, this is not a seller's market, okay? This is a buyer's market. So we are creating higher highs right here, okay? And basically, we had resistance. Now this resistance is actually most likely is going to turn into support. Now, um, I realized not only, okay, we had uh, resistance turning into support, we also had, what, this demand level right here, okay? You see this demand level right here? Now, we had uh, strong, okay, buyers right here notice how these candles are nice and strong 
so you know that this is not us guys this is smart money pushing up the market so when i saw that guys i said to myself okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait for price to come back to this demand level right here okay and i'm gonna get in and i got in with a limit order so basically what that means is i was waiting for price to come to this uh area right here as soon as price got into that demand area i got in right away okay and you know um i'll put my stop loss below here okay okay so after i put the limit order in i went to my one minute chart i dropped down to the one minute chart and i was pretty much waiting for price to come down to the demand area all right so let's go to the live video right now okay so pretty much this is where i started to record my screen all right so i'm waiting for a price to basically hit my uh order it didn't hit my order yet so I'm waiting for price to hit my order so I can get in the market. If you look right there, it basically hit my order, okay? Now I'm in the market and pretty much I'm looking to see how price reacts to this level. So right now I'm just waiting for uh, how price reacts to this level. And um, I am looking to add some more if I feel like this is actually uh, going to work. So let's fast forward just a little bit. Okay, so right here, I'm actually looking to add some more uh, prices actually dropping down to me I don't really see no uh, no real selling going on yet so I'm I'm adding some more to my uh, trade so let's pretty much fast forward this and I'm gonna show you pretty much uh, you know most of my ads throughout the whole uh, trade so let's go okay so right here I'm just you know just looking at price I see a little bit buying going on right here so I'm adding some more and I'm just letting you guys understand, okay, when I'm adding to uh, this trade, I'm not just adding just because I, I you know, basically back test uh, this type of setup so many times. So me personally, I'm very confident in this trade. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm just adding just because, all right? And when it comes to adding, I think most new traders uh, should not be worrying about adding uh, to, to their trade. Um, but overall, that's what I'm doing, you know, throughout this whole trade right here. I'm adding, adding, adding because I don't really see any, uh, you know, hardcore selling going on right now. And I like this, uh, you know, setup. I really believe that this demand zone is really going to hold. So I don't mind adding to my position. And plus, when I first got in, I didn't really get in, uh, you know, with a big size anyway. So uh, me adding on. OK, it's not really going to hurt me because, uh, you know, my first uh, size was, you know, small. So I'm adding on, adding on, adding on. So let's uh, continue with this real quick. OK, guys. So, you know, I fast forward the, the video a little bit because I don't want to bore you guys with the add ons. Um, I added some more. So right now, guys, I want you to notice that I'm going to pretty much add my last position uh, right here now. I do have a couple of stop losses right here that I didn't move. I didn't move up yet, um, and that's because I was in the zone and I was just basically trying to, um, you know, look at this trade and work this trade. But so far, you can tell that every time the market's going down, you know, it dries up. You see, you can tell that bias is trying to come in, even though we do have some sellers coming in. This is intense, so I'm telling you right now, guys, if you, you know, trying to do this. Uh, for the first time, it's going to be very, very intense. Uh, but, you know, me personally, when I get in a trade, I say to myself, if this is going to be a loser, it is what it is. So me personally, if, uh, you know, if they stop me out on this trade, uh, on to the next trade. I, I don't care about uh, stop out. All I care about, guys, is taking the right trade. That's the most important part when it comes to trading. You can't cry about losers because that's part of the game. Your job as a trader is take the right trade, every single trade, all right? So uh, let me fast forward this so you guys can see what happened next. Okay, so you can see price right here, you know, going up. And, you know, I feel really, really good about this trade. I feel like this trade is really going to work out. So I'm just waiting for price to, you know, pull up. And um, I'm not going to do nothing yet. So let me fast forward this so you guys can see what happened next. Okay, so the market is very close to my profit target. I'm just waiting for, you know, price to go. Okay, so basically notice how we got our profit right here. I'm up $843, which is great. My last job, I was probably making $10 an hour. So that is great. Okay, $843. And that's probably less than 
a half an hour, I think. Okay, so that is great. So this is why I love short-term supply and demand. Okay, I can come in the market. Okay, wait for price to come to those demand areas, those supply areas, and take the trade. I don't have to wait 12 hours or two weeks for a trade. I can take the trade right away. I like the day trade, so I like to use the short-term, uh, you know, charts. And I like to be flat at the end of the day and take my money and be done for the day. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys that this is a real account. Uh, notice how I just actually switched this to the demo account. Notice how it says SIM up top. SIM means simulator. So anybody that's trading this platform, and if you see that blue marker, that means that they are trading a demo account. Now let me switch it back to the live account. Notice how it has that gray background. That's how you know someone is actually trading a live account. So overall, um, I was looking at the five minute chart guys and saw supply and demand. And I went back to the one minute chart and I took the trade. Okay. This is the same stuff I teach on my channel. Okay. Go to my videos. You will see same stuff over and over and over. Okay. I'm showing you guys live and it's not the first time I'm showing you guys live, you know, that this stuff works. So. Now let's get into some questions that I actually received on my last video. So let's go right now. Now the first question that we're going to go over is from Chief F. He wrote, he ain't say how much money he put in to make 1K. He's talking about my last video, right? Um, you're leaving steps out. That would be pretty helpful. That's what he said, okay? Now, um, so let's go over okay, how much you need to, you know, make 1K or $800 or $900 in a day. Okay, so let's go over, uh, you know, what I trade and go over my broker and pretty much, you know, how they deal with, uh, you know, uh, margin. So we are looking at the micro E-mini futures. That's what I trade, okay? It's the same thing as trading the US 30. So let's go down to the micro E-mini NASDAQ 100. That's what I'm trading right now. That's how I made the $843. So right here, okay, today traded, look at it. You only need $100 in your account. So what does that mean? That means that if you have $100 in your account, you trade one contract or one lot. Now, if you go back to my video, I added 11 contracts, right? So I had 11 lots on that trade. So let's do the math right quick. 11 times 100 so come on let's go 11 times 100 is what 1100 so in order to make okay the same amount i made today was 843 dollars you only need 1100 how is that possible well because you're using leverage guys right for all you guys that you know comment on my last video saying oh you you know you risk nine grand to make 1K. Like, where do you get those numbers from, guys? All right. So you have to understand, okay, that one trade that I made today, that's all you need. Now, I don't want you guys to come in and think, oh, that's all I need. Oh, man. Whew. You know, it's a wrap. No. Guys, you have to understand. I've been doing this for 13 years. So you have to understand. I have experience. I have skills. So I understand the market. You, with a small account, Okay, you should never come in the market and thinking that you're going to basically double your account in that one day just because um, you have the leverage. I don't want you guys to think that way because guess what? You're going to blow your account. My account is decent enough to take hits like that. If you have a small account, you don't have that luxury to basically take those type of hits. But I'm just showing you guys, okay, you don't need that much money to make a lot of money. All right. So let's go to another question. So the next question is, how do I join your Telegram page? Guys, everything is in the description, okay? If you don't know where the YouTube description is at, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is 2021. If you don't know where the YouTube description is at, you know, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. But yes, all my information is in the description, so you can check that out. Uh, what else? So the next question is basically from Adam. My question is what time frame you look at? Uh, pretty much he asking what time frame I look at, right? So um, I look at the five minute and like you see right here, 
Um, I go down sometimes to one minute, not all the time, but sometimes I do. I go to the one minute, but mainly I'm dealing with the five minute and taking my trades on the five minute. Okay. So I, I'm a, I'm a day trader. So that's why I did with those small time frames. Next question. Does the indicator you created work for think and swim? And the answer is no. The indicator only works on trading view right now. Okay. You don't need a paid version for trading view to use the indicator, but the indicator right now is only available for my students. Uh, the only way you can get it right now is basically uh, by getting the program, okay, that I have. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably going to go over some more questions in my next video. All right. Now, since we actually talked about the indicator, let me show you um, that trade. I, I realized after I took the trade that the indicator actually showed uh, you guys uh, to get in too. So let me show you. Okay. So here's the indicator. If you don't know anything about the indicator, basically, it's a supply and demand indicator that spots supply and demand if you don't understand supply and demand, okay? Now, the live trade that I showed you guys, this is it right here, okay? Now, the live trade that I took, pretty much, I showed you guys uh, the four-minute chart, but this is the five-minute chart, okay? This is the same trade right here. Um, notice how we have that demand zone, okay? So, remember, I actually took the trade right here. Now, the indicator is showing you the demand zone, okay? So... Um, but overall the candle is yellow. That means that a demand zone. So when price comes back to the demand zone, what you can do is, uh, with this indicator, um, it has, um, you know, long and short confirmation. So right here, we only want to go long. So it shows you a long right here. And basically that was a nice winner. Now notice how it has longs right here. You don't want to go long because it's not near a key level. You only want to basically go long if it's at a key level, and that's what the indicator uh, helps new traders with. But like I said before, this indicator is only for new traders. You don't really need it, especially if you understand how to read price action, right? But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Enjoy my free Telegram group, especially if you uh, you know want to look at my charts. Sometimes I post charts there, and sometimes I post you know discounts. Uh, there too. Now, if you want deeper training, okay, you can actually check out my uh, training program below and you definitely get this indicator with the program. But overall, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and please have a great day.